Hi. Hi. We're just um, going out to Aldi to do our grocery shopping. Yep. We don't normally shop there for a full shop, so it's going to be interesting to see if we can find everything that we want. Yep. Um, and we wanted to show you guys what we can get keto-wise. Yeah. Um, for, it's not going to be for a full week because we're going to be doing some fasting in, in between, but... Um, at least show you what we can get at yes. an Australian Audi because there's yeah. a bit out there about American Audis, mm. um, but not much about Australians. Yeah, so let's go. We're in the nut section. Mm -hmm. They actually have some good stuff. We really like flaked coconut. Um, we put it on top of the granola, chia pudding, that kind of thing. Um, pretty cheap, three bucks. They also have a, um, a posted one up the back. Um, cow powder. <laughs> trash in the joint. Cacao nibs. Is that what fell on the floor? Yeah. Cacao nibs. Flax seed or linseed meal which is really good the meal because we usually get it in whole you can get it in seed. the meal as well yeah so there's chia seeds chia seeds pine nuts all sorts almonds. of different nuts natural and then like roasted ones and then dan found these little i know you can't put them in your kids lunch boxes and stuff because of their nuts but they're a great little idea and it's idea. good because it's portioned already so you can't yeah. overdo it so this oh. tuna slices and it's in olive oil that's awesome and it doesn't actually have any other oil in it because quite often you see it's in olive oil but then it's got a tiny bit of olive oil and mainly canola and there's chili and then also smoked i want to try that that sounds really yummy they've also They've also got a bunch of different sardines, spring water. Very good for you, very water. nutrient dense. Oil, not sure what oil it is, I'll have a quick look. It would spring say water. olive oil if it was oil. Um, but they've yeah. got oysters in spring water. Ah, okay, and look, and look, rainbow again. trout, herring, yeah. they've got quite a few. Anchovy fillet. Uh, quite a big tinned fish range. So they've got organic extra virgin coconut, all oh, three dollars. It's a bargain. And um, apple cider vinegar with the mother. So that's good. We actually need that, Dan. I love these little tins of organic tomato paste. Because um, you, normally you would use kind of a few tablespoons and then I just freeze the rest. But it's very cheap for organic. So we found these burgers. Um, and they're only 1.3 grams of carbs per burger. Now the ingredients not the best. ideal but i mean you get two of those for less than three grams of carbs so if that's your meal and you add a few things to it doable they have an awesome range of like i guess they're german style sausages um, and they're all pretty low in carbs um, we really like the cheese <laughs> upside down no, you're right. the cheese kratzky so we'll definitely be getting some of those but all of these are really delicious and a good option okay recently we grabbed some of these bacon chops and i cooked them on the barbecue and they were awesome and they, we are getting those because <laughs> we um liked them last time so we're really happy to get those the other thing we use in our burgers is the speck so we like to um, kind of dice that up really, really finely and put it into the um, burgers. Yes, yeah, so it's like a um, big piece of, it's kind really of pork fatty. belly bacon, isn't it? And kind it's of. really fatty, so yeah. it makes the burgers super juicy um, and keeps them moist so they don't kind of dry, kind of get bouncy. They're, they're delicious. The Carnival Burgers on our website, we'll link it.
love this um, low carb bread. So it's $4.99 here. It's pretty much exactly the same as the Herman Brock bread, which you can pay up to eight or nine dollars for. I think it's about five grams of carbs for two slices. It does have wheat and other non-desirable ingredients in it, um, but depending what how you <laughs> do your kiddo, this is awesome. They don't always have it here either. Um, yeah, they they do it. run out, so it's obviously Good just supply. been stopped because <laughs> there's a fair bit there. I've come in during the week and there's been none. I got a bit excited because I found some almond milk in Aldi. But the second ingredient is sugar, so don't get your almond milk. Now. Boo. I just found oh, these. I Dan love those. loves them to have in her work bag. They were 99 cents each, so. It's really super easy. They don't need to be refrigerated or anything, so it's perfect for like a kid's lunchbox if they eat olives or like just to have in your work bag for like an emergency snack. We found this butter chicken. The ingredients in it aren't perfect, but there's four serves in here and it's 5.6 grams of carbs per serve, which is pretty manageable for like a main meal. You could have it with some cauliflower rice and that's like a super quick and easy dinner or even just with like some steamed broccoli or something. Or like spinach. Habit. We've chucked some spinach yeah, just in it before. Yeah, handfuls of spinach in it. Yeah. Every keto person should be eating halloumi because it's one of our favourite foods and probably <laughs> one of the best things ever. We love it grilled on the barbecue. Um, and it's $4.99, so that's a bargain. So I have a really cool range of flavoured cheeses here, and I think these are about $3.99 each, so it's a pretty good price for like a specialty sort of item. Um, wasabi, chipotle, jalapeno, and that's just like an organic cheddar. We'll definitely be getting jalapeno. Um, I don't think we'll be getting wasabi, but these are really cool. A couple of other quick good finds. Um, I didn't know they had coconut yogurt here. Did you know that, Dan? No. So 3.4 grams of carbs per 100 grams. Um, and then these are a great option. They're, they're four grams of carbs for this pouch. I mean, this is an awesome option for kids. Okay, we're back from our Audi shopping expedition. Um, first off, I'm going to do one bag. First off, we've got some Swiss, Swiss brown mushrooms. Um, I'm not sure where we're going to use these yet, but they're good to have in the um, fridge breakfast if we want to make a mushroomy kind of sauce or something. They're really good. One of the meals this week is chicken wings, so we bought a big bag. Um, we like to cook them in the oven and we'll put a link to our recipe below. Scout is checking out, <laughs> probably some other chicken wings. Like we mentioned before, bacon chops, they're really, really good. I like to cook them on the barbecue and they're great for a breakfast or even for breakfast for dinner, which we like to do every now and then. And we did buy the spec. <laughs> what? I don't think we meant to. I think we... I asked you. Oh, did you? Yeah, we're getting it. Anyway, we bought the spec. We bought some things we weren't too sure that we were buying, but <laughs> just because we were talking about them, we can put this in the freezer. Yeah, um, we've got lots of mints in the freezer from Mount Moriac, so yeah, um, we burgers. can throw some burgers together any time that we want if we've got this in the freezer anyway. We also uh, have planned pork belly for dinner one of the nights this week. Um, Erica has discovered cooking it in the slow cooker, which is an awesome way to cook it and then um, finishes it off in the oven yeah, to get it crackling. And one last thing, tomato paste. Okay, so we got some strawberries to have this weekend. We've been doing some, like an extended five day fast this week. If you're interested in that, I'll put the link to the video above, but we're gonna have a bit of a treat this week with some strawberries on the weekend. Should have got some double cream while we were there. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Um, we've got some of this salami. I like the idea that it They're was, portioned up. Yeah, like so you can just cut one off and there's two serves in each little container. Um, we've got a lot of cheese. <laughs> so we've got the chipotle one, the jalapeno havarti, which I'm really excited about because it's kind of like a soft, creamy cheese. It's really yummy. And then this organic cheddar. We've got the organic brie that they have there as well, Dan. I like that. brie. 
Um, got some coriander because we're making like a Mexican fathead pizza, so that'll be really nice on the top. Cilantro for anyone. <laughs> Their nuts there was super cheap. So cheap. I think that was like four bucks or something. Yeah, and they had hazelnuts, pecans, and then I saw over the other side they had some really big bags of like almonds. raw almonds, all sorts of nuts. So it's, they had, seemed to have some really good um, cheap nut options. That pecan selection, they also had walnuts there, but they didn't have any left. Uh, so we got the cheese kransky, which, you know, we might have it with some eggs for like a lunch or dinner. Um, this is cool, so it's the apple cider vinegar with mother, so that's a really good option and it was pretty cheap. And we got some of these toasted organic uh, coconut flakes, so we're making like a chia parfait this weekend, so that'll be nice to go on that. And then I thought these were really cool, so these tuna in olive oil, um, I got one, a plain one, a smoked one, and a chili one to try. One's upside down. <laughs> you get the gist of it. Dan got some of these smoked oysters. And we got some of the hazelnuts as well. And I think that's everything. So that was our little Aldi expedition. Actually, I was pleasantly surprised with some of the things we found there. Uh, I don't normally do a big shop there. We would normally kind of just go in to get something. Get the bread, which we didn't yeah, even buy this time. Or get, you know, one, you know, a, a tent or something crazy that they have there. My smoker. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, they had actually some really good options. I guess I don't normally like doing a full shop there because there's always something that they don't, they don't have. have and then have to go to another supermarket. But what do you think? What was your best thing that you saw there? Do you reckon Ooh, keto wise? That's tough. Probably the nuts in terms of the cheapness of those pecans and hazelnuts because they're super yeah. expensive in um, Coles and Woolies. So, yeah, that's true. Um, and they're always good to have on hand, throw into the granola or something. So Snack. if we're going in there, we should grab some because um, yeah. they're handy to have on hand. Yeah, and I reckon the cheese selection is really good and really like reasonably priced and they actually have quite a few organic dairy products and stuff that's good. They had grass-fed beef. Um, and that tuna in olive oil I'm pretty impressed about because that's not easily easy to come by even in yeah. regular supermarkets. So yeah, that's our Audi grocery haul. Keep an eye out because we're going to do a few others as well. Yeah. Um, so if you like this video, click the like button uh, and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more recipes, including a few more Australian grocery hauls. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.